Yo, what's up guys, welcome to Matrix. My name is Eric, and this is my personal guide for Frost Mages for Pats 5.1. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, remember to thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, because there will be many more videos in the future, guys. Hope you enjoy. Okay, let's start off with Tier 1. Uh, we got Present Wine, Scorch, and Ice Flows. Um, Scorch is not that good. Um, Ice Flows, it makes you cast while running, and it's only two spells, it's not that good either. So I took Present of Mind because it makes one of your casters instant. I mean, if you have a car, if you have a spell that has a casting time less than 10 seconds, it becomes an instant cast spell, just like this. Example with my Ring of Frost, which is pretty awesome, because it can freeze up to 10 targets, and so yeah, I took Present of Mind because it also makes my uh, Ring Frost Bomb and Frost Fireball instant as well. Alright, in tier 2 we got Temporal Shield, Blazing Speed and Ice Barrier. Ice Barrier is very very good, because it, uh, it absorbs damage based on your intellect, and that is very very good. Sometimes it's, it's absorbing uh, 80,000, sometimes it's absorbing 100,000, depends on how many intellect you got and the buffs and stuff like that. So I took Ice Barrier, but you also got Temporal Shield, which is also pretty good, because um, what it does, it gives you a shield uh, for 4 seconds and... Uh, the damage you took over those four seconds will be healed up again over six seconds. So that is quite that is quite good if you some people are bursting you down very quick and you can just heal up again over those small six seconds. But I'm still gonna take ice barrier and blazing speed's not that good either. So just go with ice barrier. In tier three we got ring of frost, ice ward, and frost jaw. What um, frost jaw is more like a single target and it's only half as long as player targets. So it only uh, you can silence and freeze the target for four seconds against the player. Ice ward is not that good either. If I get stuck by melee attack, I will just uh, deep freeze them and I can run away. But I always got ring of frost because that is very very good. And arenas and VPs can freeze up to ten targets and it can freeze the most time just like this. It is very effective. All right, let's head over to the fourth tier of mage towns. We got Great Invisibility, Cauterize and Cold Snap. Well, Cauterize might be good if you want to survive in arenas and BGs. You can just use Ice Block uh, if Cauterize happens and you can just heal up again with Evocation Spell. But I'm still gonna go with Cold Snap because um, it heals 30% of my health and it reduces the cooldown of my Frost Nova and my Ice Block and many other cool Frost Mage uh, spells. Just like this, I can just uh, easy use it again twice so that's a double freeze which is also very good for pvp great invisibility only makes you escape so um, i don't think that's it's good for escaping great invisibility but i i don't i don't run that i don't escape from player targets that much so um, just go with cold snap all right in tier 5 we got another tempest living bomb and frost bomb well living bomb is mostly for fire mages i guess so i didn't pick that Dots is, uh, uh, damage over time spells are good, but not as a frost mage. Um, Nether Tempest is also very effective. Let me try with Nether Tempest on. Let me show you what it exactly does. Uh, let me freeze those two targets here, and I can just put it on as many targets I want, I guess. I can put it on these three targets here, and it's dealing massive AoE damage. This is very good if you are example in... Isle of Conquest and you are a horde and you're going dogs you can just place this, this on as many targets you want I guess it's um yeah as many targets as you want so it's also very good but I'm still gonna take frost bomb because that is best the that is the best one to burst people down so all right in the last tier of mage towns we got invocation rune of power and incaster's ward um, I took in Caster's Ward because um, it's kind of like a shield too, just like Ice Barrier. So you have to you have two magics that's absorbing very much damage. Uh, if you have m many buffs and in intellect, uh, cooldown stuff like that, you will absorb over 100,000 damage, and that is very much. So it takes long time for people to burst you down, for example. And after in Caster's Ward, Ward has ended, um, you will get 30% increased spell damage buff, of course. 
15 seconds, which is also pretty good for bursting people down. Rune of Power is not so good because you have to place a rune, rune on the ground and you have to stay inside it to get the increased uh, spell damage buff. If you don't stand inside it, you won't get it. So it's so you uh, you have to move around a lot as a frost mage. So rune of power is not so good. And and invocation, what it does, uh, you have to complete evocation first before you get the 40% no 25% increase spell damage for 40 seconds. So you have to wait like five and a half seconds before you can get the increased spell damage. And your target can easily just run away during that time. You can all you can always just doing before you pull the target, but it's not that good. So just taking Castle's Ward because you have two absorb magics and it actually does, and it's actually the the um, that that gives you most increased spell damage. So take that. All right, let's start out with the minor glyphs. The only serious minor glyphs mages have is actually just glyph of momentum. What this does, it's very effective. You can just walk backwards and it teleports you backwards so you don't have to move around just like this and blink forward so it's it's much much better I really ha I'm really happy Blizzard have put it put uh, this glyph into the game because it's really fun and you can just walk to the left you can just walk to the left and you can blink to the left and you can walk to the right and you will blink to the right so I took that because it's very awesome the rest glyph the rest of the minor glyphs for mages is just for fun actually and you also have the illusion spell here that makes you look like someone else, just like this hunter here. He just looks, he has pretty good gear. So I can just look like this hunter right here. And you can also use mirror images so you have um, four that looks like him. But you have to you have to stay very close to the target first before you can look like him. Okay, let's head over to the serious glyphs, the major glyphs. Let's start out with the glyph of deep freeze. What is this does, it, uh, my deep freeze is no longer on global cooldown. This is very good because sometimes you have to wait a whole lot of time before your target will get deep freezed. This is without the glyph. You can see there was a bit of delay before it happened. And uh, now we will try with the glyph on. You can see it's going much faster and it's very good for pe to burst people down because you have to remain your target freezed as a frost mage. Remember that. Remember that. Okay, we also got the Glyph of Evocation. This is a very effective cooldown. Since I don't have a pocket healer, I can just go with this Glyph very easily. Also in arenas, if I could get bursted down, I can just hide behind a pillar and I can just heal 60% of my health up again. And I also got Cold Snap, which also, which also heals me 30% of my health. So that's 90% of my health total. So that is quite much. So I took this Glyph because I don't have a pocket healer and it's very effective in Battlegrounds. It can heal you up very quick, only on over, very quick, um, just in five and a half seconds. So I took that because it's awesome. And on my last glyph, we got glyph of ice veins. Um, what this does, your ice vein causes your frost ball, frost fireball, ice lance, and your water elemental water ball spells to split into three smaller stacks that read that each do 40% damage. This means I have a frost ball that will split into three smaller frost balls and each of them will do 40% damage. So that means 40 plus 40 plus 40 that gives me 120 uh, spell damage. So yeah, I get 20% more spell damage uh, if I activate this. It Alright, let's head over to the stats requirements of frost mages. As any different PvP mage at all, in any different spec, you have to get above 6% hit chance. Unless you might miss on level 90s. Which isn't good, because you might have to... Um, you can might uh, miss on your frost bomb, which crit quite much, to be honest. And you can also miss with your ice lance or frost fireball, any spell. And that is not good if you have to burst your target down really quick. So get hit cap for fuck sake. Um, the next very good thing for mages is PvP power. This is also very effective because this makes you burst people down more quicker. So PvP power and mastery to be honest they are very good because your mastery as a frost mage increases your damage against frozen targets and your... So you have to get hit capped by 
and you have to get lots of PvP power and mastery. Focus on that. Haste and crit are not important at all. I mean, it sucks to be honest. Crit not worth it because you 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 have a hundred you have a, almost a 100% chance to crit on frozen targets, which is quite much. On frost um on frozen targets, you you almost it's impossible for you to not crit. So crit is not good at all. And haste, well, you got your glyph of icy veins, which deals much damage over a short time. So haste is not that good at all. All right, for gems and enchants, in the red gems you have to get the the red one that gives you 160 intellect, and in the yellow and blue ones. You have to get this green one, which gives you 160 BP power and 160 mastery. So, as I told you earlier, you have to get hit capped, get a lots of mastery and PvP power, and also intellect, which increases your spell power also, which is very good at bursting people down. And it's very important that you, in Shanish, especially on the belt, you get the um, the extra belt buckle, which gives you an extra gem just like this. It's very effective guys, remember. And um, for weapons it's kinda like I don't really know. Jade Spirit is also very good and Wind Song is also very good. Because Wind Song can give you uh, 1650 1, mastery, haste or crit. I think to be honest Jade Spirit is better because you might have a chance to get crit or haste which isn't that good for Frost Mages. So I think I have to change to Jade Spirit. So that is better. I and um, in the wrist we got 100, 180 intellect and in the, in the boots you have to get the 140 mastery and a minus speed increase which is also very good because that minus speed increase it's, it's give you, it gives you 8% more movement speed which I don't really recognize that much but it's, it's, it's worth it guys it's worth it and for the, for the hands we got 170 mastery so it's kind of like that just focus the mastery pvp power intellect hit capped and uh, you got it it's simple as that and here in the last end of the my frost mage guide video i will show you some combos as a frost mage remember guys uh, as a frost mage the rule number one is to keep your target freezed because if it doesn't you want doing any damage look at this it's pathetic no damage at all so you have to uh, get your target freeze at all time let me just try a few of my um, my cooldowns which is very very good oh my god look at all this I can just burst him down in no time you can also use all the time so this is a, and the person should be dead at this time if it didn't have a party healer. I guess it didn't. So as you can see, I focused the training dummy here, the level 90, of course, I, and I didn't miss at all. I critted very much. My damage was very high. And remember to keep your target freezed at all time, because then you will deal the most damage. Okay. Okay. So yeah, guys, that was the end of my personal guide for frost mages for patch 5.1 and remember i'm soon gonna be doing uh, a video about mages in patch 5.2 and a lot of different ptr content from patch 5.2 as well so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did remember to thumbs up really because i've spent a lot of time making this one for you guys um, so you get so you get to see how I play a frost mage and I know some of you guys out there are playing it different but this is my the way I play a frost mage so if you, if you have anything to say leave me your thoughts in the comments below as always Eric here thanks for watching